What is going on guys, Extra Fusion here, and today we are starting a brand new series, brand new thing I'm going to be doing on this channel, just leading up to Call of Duty Black Ops 4, which is going to be Road to Black Ops 4 Zombies, and what we're going to be doing is um, going to take a while. Definitely gonna take a while, but we're going to be playing every single zombies map there has ever been in Call of Duty history, from start to finish, from Nocturne and Toe and all the way to the final World War II zombies map, and just playing the map, just talking about the map, just enjoying it, every single version of the map as well in each video leading up to it. So today, of course, we're starting off with Nocturne and Toe, and there are uh, two other versions of Nocturne and Toe we're gonna have to play in the video, and I'm just gonna cut it up, you know. And edit the most interesting parts as I'm gonna talk to you guys about it, play it with you guys, and um, just talk about the map. And it's gonna be fun because I'm gonna go through every single map that's ever been, including Infinite Warfare, Advanced Warfare, and World War II. So every developer, not just Treyarch, even though we are leading up to a Treyarch Call of Duty, of course. So I'm excited for this. Oh, jeez, I forgot the knifing in World at War is very, very wonky. So for some of the maps, you know, I might try to do the Easter eggs for some of them. I might try to go for high rounds. I might do challenges for some of them. I'm not too sure exactly what I'm going to do for every map. But I'm definitely excited to see how it goes. Definitely excited to see, you know, how long I can do this series for and how much enjoyment I can get out of it. But today we are playing, of course, Nocturne and Toten, the first ever Zombies map in Zombies history now this map man it brings back memories and i think that's what it is in my opinion is the only enjoyment i get out of this map is the memories because it's it's a very boring map let's be honestly completely real here there's not anything to do you just go around kill zombies it's one of those simple maps and it's nostalgia man just that music the background music when um the round changes it's nostalgia it's nostalgia and it's it's great it's great nostalgia. don't get me wrong here I'm excited to play. I mean, I remember I would come home every day after school. I think it was 2008, was maybe third, fourth grade, around that time. And literally would come home from school every day and play like an hour or two of this with my, me and my friends. And we were like, we thought round like eight was a high round. We were like, damn, you got to round eight. Like we thought that was crazy. We were like, damn, people are getting these such high rounds. I remember I got to round like 10 for the first time. I was freaking out, or 11 even. I mean, now that's just ridiculous. That's like the lowest round you could possibly get to nowadays. That's like, oh, okay, cool, round 10, cool. Um, the one thing that I definitely miss about zombies that w was more prevalent back then, that's not prevalent now, is that fun going for high rounds type of a thing because it actually felt like accomplishing. Now it's like, just because you get to high rounds doesn't mean you're good. It just means you have time to waste. But back then it was like actually a saying of how good you are. It's not really like that anymore. Which is sad, definitely. I would have to say. But, we've moved on to the new era of zombies. And, gotta deal with it. I mean, I do like the new era of zombies, trust me. I'm a fan of Black Ops 3. I'm a fan of Infinite Warfare. I'm kind of a fan of World War 2. So don't get me wrong. Not everything's terrible. But I do miss having you know, high rounds actually be like important. We got the trench gun. This is a pretty solid gun. Not good for points, though. But I'm not really worried about points, considering there's really no perks to buy of any sort. Out of all the versions of Nocturne and Toten that we're going to play, I would have to say this is my favorite version of it, just because it's the original version. It's the most nostalgic. It feels the best. The Black Ops 1 version is cool and all, but, you know, it switched out all the original guns for other guns, and it gives you the Thunder Gun. And it's like, uh, well, now it's just too easy, and... It's, it's not as interesting as this one. It also has Mule Kick, which Mule Kick's a cool addition to it. So Black Ops 1 version's fun. It's just not, you know, that great. And then we had the Black Ops 3 version, which I don't like at all. I mean, it just has gobble. It, the fact that they added gobble gums to it kind of just is like, oh, okay, now it's just too easy. And has fucking perks on it. You got like a bunch of perks. It's, uh, it's just, I don't, it's not, my, it's not my favorite map in the world in Black Ops 3. You know what I'm saying? I get it, it's a remake, you know, they're not supposed to make it the same as the original, but at the same time, it's like, not that appealing to me, because the only thing that really makes me want to play this map is the nostalgia factor, and without the nostalgia factor, it's just 
plane. So what this whole series is going to lead up to is going to lead up to around Halloween, I believe I'm going to make it. It's going to be top or ranking every single zombies map in Call of Duty history. So it's going to be every map from least to favorite. It's going to be a big video. It's going to be like a good hour long possibly video. And I'm just going to be going through every map and ranking them and giving you the reasons why I rank them in that order. So that's going to be interesting. And I think going back and playing every single map and having a good time on each and every version of each and every map is going to kind of give me a refresher of how the maps are. Obviously, a while from now, I'm going to make that. It's going to be like Halloween time right before Black Ops 4 comes out or whatever Treyarch's next game is called. I just call Black Ops 4 as a placeholder name. But whatever it's called, I'm uh, you know leading up towards that. And I'm going to be able to make my decisions a little more precise because I'm replaying every map. Because obviously some of the maps I haven't played in a long time. Like There's a couple maps here and there. I tell you I have not played in forever. Oh, we got a brownie. But... It's going to be nice to go back and play these maps because I can actually learn more about them and kind of get more out of them, you know what I mean? I mean, just by hearing my opinions, because I'm going to be talking about the op my opinions on each map as I go, you could probably just make out what my list is going to be. Not 100%, but I think the full video is going to be very... It's going to be very... I'm going to work hard on it, definitely. I'm going to be um, focusing a lot on um, the map itself, you know, where it came from statistics about it you know the date it came out all that just going in depth about the map and talking about the reasons what i like about it reasons i don't like about it and going to every map in order from my least favorite to my favorite and that's gonna be a fun video to make because sometimes honestly my list changes every other fucking day i'm telling you one day it'll be i mean my favorite map i'm not you probably guys probably know what it is i'll just say it's, it's origins obviously i think i've made a video about that a couple times here and there but like Number two, three, four, five, and five, like all those different maps, they, they fluctuate, man. Next next day, it'll be Mob of the Dead will be second place. Then it'll be The Rising Drop. Then I'll like Garad Krovi. Then I'll be like, no, you know what? Call of the Dead is second place. And then it'll change back to Mob of the Dead. And it's it's a whole, it never stays the same because my mind's always changing. My, I, you know, I, when I play maps again and again and again and try them out, stuff like that, my, my opinion changes. The interesting thing about this map is the fact that it came it came out and Treyarch had no idea it was going to turn into such a big thing. They didn't really have storyline plan. They didn't have anything big planned. They just had, you know what, let's come out with a game mode that has zombies in it because fuck it, you know, multiplayer isn't enough for people to fully enjoy a game. And it's, Zombies has now become a staple in Call of Duty. Like, it's not just Treyarch's thing anymore. It is now every developer's thing. Which, people were not glad about that. People were pissed. They were like, oh, it should only be Treyarch's. You know, the other company should stick to doing their own thing. Like, Extinction or Special Spec Ops or whatever. Whatever it may be. I disagree. I think Zombies is so much, enjo so much enjoyment of it. And every developer should, you know, strive to make the game mode in their own way. You know what I mean? And I think every developer has done a good job so far with their own zombies mode. So, of course, Treyarch's my favorite. And we haven't seen that much. We've seen a little bit of an Infinity Ward. I mean, I, I wasn't a fan of Extinction. I don't call that a zombies mode. Like, I'm not counting that for this, for example. Um, but, you know, of course, I'm counting their Infinite Warfare zombies, which I did thoroughly enjoy for the most part. Sledgehammer, they did a pretty trash job in exo zombies to be completely honest i wasn't a fan of exo zombies you'll notice that by my list um but you know here and there they did okay jobs and world war ii has been okay in my opinion i love multiplayer world war ii it's very enjoyable for me the zombies it's good but it's just i don't know there's something it's missing and i can't really put my finger on it i really couldn't like i enjoy i enjoy the final reich and you'll see when that video comes up and stuff like that, but notice I did not make one video on the Darkest Shore. And honestly, the reason, well, I can't really lie about that. The reason why I didn't upload a video on the Darkest Shore is because I recorded my first uh, attempt at applying it, and the file was corrupted, and it deleted my entire file on my computer. 
and obviously I wasn't gonna fake a reaction to it, so I was like, you know what, fuck it, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna just not play that map again. I mean, it wasn't even that enjoyable map. I watched people play it too. It just, it's not that great of a map, honestly. Dark Darker Shore is kind of a disappointment. It's such a small map. The Easter Egg is not that special. The Wonder Weapon is not that special. There's no new perks. I don't know. I don't think Darker Shore is a good map. Final Reich, though, it, it was a good first map for sure. I, I give him that. And Groton Hawks is a cool side map to play. So, you know, I, I can't give him complete discredit. Ooh, now round seven. Round seven is when they start making the fucking dog noises, these zombies. They go, rah, rah, rah. it's the freakiest thing you'll ever hear in your entire life. It scared the hell out of me when I played back in, like, 2008 or 2009, whenever. Whenever this game was a thing. Like, this one round started getting, like, difficult. Obviously, now this is, like, nothing, but... Honestly, this is all you gotta do is just chill here with the browning. Aim for the head. And fire. Hoping they remaster World at War one of these days, because we can get these maps remastered with the same guns, the same sounds, the same everything, without you know them changing up stuff like they did with um, the Black Ops One remake. I, I understand why they change them up in remakes in like Black Ops One and like Black Ops Three. They're supposed to change them up. They're different games, but you know if they were to remaster the game like they did Modern Warfare Remastered. But I still, I still believe Mono for two Master is going to be coming out this year. Maybe we'll get World of War Master with Church release. Black Ops 4, maybe. I don't know. Probably not, but that would be cool. Alright, we're going to try to get the Ray Gun. See if we can get it. Oh, I forgot about this thing. Is this still... Plays music, right? Ooh, sawed off Thoroughbill. Oh, you hear that? I think that's music from the... I think it's music from the campaign, like the soundtrack, right? It's like what they just find the Easter egg back then. They have the fucking, like, commie music. Oh boy. Oh, there's the classic World of War like soundtrack that would play during the one mission in Russia. Dude, World of War had a great campaign, man. World of War really did. I mean, it wasn't the most interesting story in the world. And it's sad. I mean, this game is such a good game, but like, I put it low on my like top you know, 11 Call of Duty lists, stuff like that. I put it so low because there's just so much other stuff in the game that's much better. Like, I wasn't a big fan of the multiplayer in this game. And multiplayer is... Uh, I almost died there. Multiplayer is one of the most important things, in my opinion, for a Call of Duty game. Like, in my opinion, multiplayer is above all. Even though I do play zombies a lot, I still think multiplayer is more important. And then I would say zombies is next, so like the extra mode is next, and then campaign is up bottom. This game had a good campaign, had a good zombies, but it didn't have a good multiplayer, and that's what I think made this game so much less of an enjoyment for me, personally. Which is sad, because it had an enjoyable campaign, and it had an, not an enjoyable zombies experience, but it, it, it's, it's classic, it's nostalgic. You know, back in the day it was good, now it's like, whatever, you know. I forgot, it doesn't tell you what weapon you got, it says, just says press hold to trade weapons. One thing newer called to do that is better. Let's you know what weapon it is. So you don't have to turn around and look at the box. I like that. I have so many points right now. Like, Jesus. I'm taking that. It's a lot more agile. But without double tap, it's pretty, uh...
STG looks so much different in this game than it does in World War II. Some of the most nostalgic music I've ever heard right there. But it is time to play Call of Duty Black Ops 1. Alright, let's get it boys. Black Ops 1, Nocturne Toten, and this is like the weird like comic looking thing that they added for the remake in Black Ops 1, which was different, and we obviously we didn't have that previously. We had the little title sequence. I think that was new too. They didn't have that before, but um, also they didn't change. Oh, that's weird. My controller's a little. Controller's like unresponsive. But this version of Nocturne Toten was probably my second favorite, I'd say. And I see. I don't want to bore you guys to death. I really. Oh, I gotta change my setting. I don't want to bore you guys to death, I really don't, because I'm replaying the same maps, just different versions of them over and over and over again. That's going to get boring, you know? So instead of boring you guys to death, I'm going to make this somewhat fun of a challenge. And I'm going to do the two wall weapon challenge. And it's going to be the two wall worst wall weapons that you can possibly get, which is the Car 98, as well as the double barrel up there. I'm going to get the double barrel. It's, I want this to be fun for you guys, you know? I don't want to have to just use the same fucking... Hit the box, get the thunder gun, run around. Just, eh. Too easy, too easy. And that's one thing about zombies that I think needs to be addressed. And it wasn't obviously a thing back then. And they need to make replayability a, a easier. Because I, I hate to say it, zombies is not a very replayable type of a thing. You play a map for a couple weeks and then you get bored of it. And you go back to it eventually just for nostalgia factor and just enjoyment. If you actually enjoy the map a lot. But like for most maps you just don't really go back to it. And that's something that needs to be addressed for sure. Like, I enjoy doing Easter eggs and such, but once you do it, like, once or twice, you don't want to do it again. So, hell, if I know what to do about that. I think it's got to have more game modes, more fun things to do, more challenges, more customization for maps itself. And then I think they could actually make zombies great, you know? I think custom zombies is a good thing at keeping zombies alive. As well as the fact that all the developers make zombies now, so there's a new map like every mo two months, which is good. And they actually had the characters talk in the remake of Black Ops 1, as well as zombies sounded different. Of course, they had a mule kick. They had a music too in the background, there's like different types of music going around. I mean, it was a good remake, don't get me wrong, but. Obviously, it's not as nostalgic as the old one, so it's like, you know. Let me turn this thing on. Yeah, there we go. Do, 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 Hear those zombies? Those are classic sounding zombies right there. There we go. Look at all this dead meat. Stay away from my doctor. I'm running low here. One thing that you need to do for zombies is less fucking special zombies, man. Like, look, I don't mind, like, you know, having special zombies on maps. They should not come until at least 10 rounds later, unless they're, like, a specific round-based zombie. Like, fucking World War II zombies, man, those fucking little pest zombies, the bombers, the guys with the big-ass claw thingies, they come way too often, and it just makes it a, a shit show. I think most zombies does a good job at keeping it, like, fair, though, to be completely honest. I think X zombies did a terrible job at that. And Infinite Warfare, they, they did an okay job at it. I think they did pretty good, actually. 
they, they literally limited it. Like, it wouldn't be, like, round 20 until they actually start, like, mixing the different special zombies. So, I think Infinite Warfare did good with it. But, like, some other zombies modes have just not been doing a good job. I forgot, they also added dolphin diving. That's just what we needed. Oh. Dolphin diving looks so weird while you're holding the World War II guns. Because they didn't, like, add it in properly, I guess, for the World War II guns. You see that? That's weird. Alright. Oh boy. That didn't happen. No one saw that, right? Yeah, no one saw that, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna casually move on to Black Ops 3. Cut that out. Pretend no one saw me dying right there, you know? It's it's, it's all good, man. It's all good. Let's, let's just move on to Black Ops 3. See? All right. We are now on Black Ops 3 Zombies and um, haven't been in this game in a fucking minute and a half. But let's check this out. Change map, let's go to Noctura Toted. Let's change our goblins too because. Alright, let's see, let's put that on, put that on, extra credit. Let's make this a joke. Let's just make this a joke. I'm gonna put on. No, not the sword of combat. Um. Da, 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 da. That's one thing Black Ops 4 better fucking have is the playlists that you can play, like, in menu screen. I like how they added this back for Chronicles. I've been pretty avid about Chronicles. I was not a fan of Chronicles that much. And there's a few reasons for it. I think a big part of... Oh, wow. They would... Are you kidding me? World War II was able to put Nazi zombies, and they're not allowed to put it. They have to put Call of Duty zombies... Whatever. Um, one avid thing about Chronicles that I complained about is how they re revealed it. I'm, I'm talking about this. Probably is a good topic to talk about here. Unfortunately, I was just not a fan with how they... Oh, I forgot we had sliding. was not a fan with how they released Chronicles, like the information of Chronicles to the public by JC Backfire. Like, it's just, it, I know, it, it, I'm not, like, if it was me as a YouTuber, obviously, I'd be like, oh, it's awesome, you know? But, like, having a reveal from a YouTuber and having the first gameplay we see come from other YouTubers is not satisfying. It's, um, I don't, it's hard to put it. The first thing we should always see from a developer is the trailer. Like, there was trailers they released for Chronicles, which were fucking awesome trailers, by the way. If they released those trailers first... And we had, like, no idea. Just out of nowhere, they released, like, new Black Ops 3 content or whatever. And they just showed us that trailer. You know how fucking exciting that would be? How hyped that would be? But having JC Backfire release it, reveal it, was kind of weird, to say the least. I don't know. And the thing is, like, look, I'm not, like, you know, saying Chronicles is a complete bust. I think it's cool. You know, they didn't have to remaster any maps, you know? They could have just not remastered anything. But the thing is, they're just. More than half of the maps are remastered are kind of boring maps, anyways. Let's be real here. <clears throat> and the maps that they did remaster that aren't boring. They look beautiful. Don't get me wrong. They look absolutely beautiful. I mean, just look at this. Look, this is Nocturne Towin. Remember before Nocturne Towin was all foggy, gross, and getting bad? This looks amazing. Don't get me wrong on that point. But. It just didn't, I don't know, it didn't, it didn't it please me the way I wanted it to, I guess. Like, either they should have, like, I, I don't think they should have kept them the same, because that would be obviously stupid if they kept them the same. They'd be like, oh, okay, like, you know, I could just go back and play the old version play, right? 
But they changed... Uh, I want them to either... I want them to change it more than what they did. At least for the bigger maps. Not for, like... Alright, it's hard, hard to explain. I don't, want, see, I don't want them to change things. I want them to add things. That's what I'm, that's what I'm trying to say. That, that makes more sense. If that does. That's good. Um... I want them to add things, not change things. Which, I don't know if it makes sense to you guys, but if it does, that's good. Changing would be like, you know, would be bad in my opinion. But like adding things, like adding new easter eggs, adding new challenges, adding new wonder weapons. I think that would be beneficial and would be more interesting. And would overall make this, a make Thumb Chronicles better, I guess, is the way to put it. Salvation lies above. Uh, like imagine Nocturne Toten, like the remaster, instead of it just being Nocturne Toten with new graphics. What if they gave us an Easter egg quest? Like I mean an actual Easter egg quest, not like a go around shoot little dolls and get a max ammo because I think there was something like that on Veruptor. Might even be on this map, I'm not 100% on that. Imagine they gave us Easter egg quest, like a big one that you couldn't activate yourself. You don't have to do it. You don't have to even press. You can just leave it as is. But if you do it, you get rewarded with... A regular Mark II or something, which I know that I think there is one in the box, but let's just say there wasn't, and the only way to get it was through the Easter egg. You need to do some quests. Maybe it gives you a bunch of challenges on the screen, like get a 500 headshots, and then it says get 100 melee kills or whatever. I'm just giving you examples of probably not the best challenges in the world, but you get the idea. Or they give little circle areas around the map, and you have to go inside of it and get certain amount of kills in those. And they give you a bunch of challenges, and you complete all the challenges, and when you complete all of them, you get, you get the thingy. Or maybe you get a perk or something, instead of actually adding perks on the map itself, which I feel like makes the map too easy, they shouldn't make you have to do the Easter egg quest to get the perks. I don't know. And Gobble Guns, they should have just not added them on the map. I get they want money, you know, they're business, but I was never a fan of Gobble Guns, so. But I am a fan of how IW did handled Gobble Guns. They did it in a good way. War 2 did it in an okay way. Not the best, but not the worst either. Ooh, AK-74U. Forgot they added this in later on. It, also it took them a while to add in the M1911 the AK. I don't know why. But, you know. It is what it is, right? This came out in May last year. That's really weird how this came out in May, like, during IW's life cycle. It, it's just kind of weird to me. So how often am I going to do these? Well, there's roughly 32 maps. And obviously I'm doing one map video per map, but I might do like a grief mode video and maybe a turn video, like one of those other game modes, you know, in Black Ops 2, maybe, maybe do a Dead Ops arcade video. So it might be up to like 40, maybe even a Nightmares video, for Black Ops 3, anything zombies, called these zombies related, I'll do a video on this road to thingy. So it'll take like 40 or so videos probably before we get to it. Of course, leading up to my first attempt gameplay on whatever zombies mode we get in Black Ops 4. But, and there's 52 weeks in a year. We've been through, like, four weeks. So, I'm saying once every week I'll probably upload a video. And then that'll probably be good enough. And if we have to upload more towards the end, or less towards the end, I guess what I'll do, you know? I just think this is a good place to start these videos. Just because if I do decide to get lazy, I'll have some extra spare time to upload, um, you know, less. If I, or upload more, I'll have some spare time. So I don't have to worry about, you know, catching up or whatever. And if, really, if I do lack on my on these videos and I don't end up, you know, doing them until, you know, if I'm like a week before Black Ops 4 and I have six maps left, you know, I could bust out those six videos within a week if I really wanted to. But I'm not gonna make make so make, make I'm not gonna make myself into that predicament. But you know, I'm just saying it, it gives me the ability to prepare, having literally like 10 months to prepare, which is great. Actually, I say 10 months, but it's not 10 months. It's more like 8 months. Damn, Black Ops 4 is closer than I think. 8 months is sooner than I have, I think, too. And of course, around Halloween, I might do it on Halloween. Uh, I'll do the Ranking All Zombie Maps video, which is going to be exciting. 
really exciting. I just like ranking stuff for some reason. That's one of my favorite like things to do. It's just ranking stuff. And it might sound weird, but like for some reason ranking stuff is just enjoyable for me. Like putting things in the rank up list, you know what I mean? Why well, I have so many like ranking videos. I have a lot of them. I'm planning on doing ranking every Walking Dead episode after season eight ends and which will end in like middle of April. I'm planning on ranking every single Walking Dead episode that's ever been. It was like it's been like hundred and fifteen, which is crazy. So we have a, a lot of walking dead episodes to go through, of course. I'm gonna pop a nice on the house, see what we get. Ooh. Stand up. Yeah, I was level 58, Steve Master. That's not like that crazy high, but it's not that crazy low either. I think I played this game just about as much as I needed to, right? Like, I played the shit out of, like, sh um, the first the Shadows of Evil, Drys and Drock. Ooh, STG. I played the shit out of, like, Drys and Drock and Shadows of Evil, even Zetsubo. But, like, Garod? I played Garod a lot. I think Garod was an amazing map. I just didn't play it that as much as I thought I would. Revelations, I played, like, barely. I beat the Easter egg and then stopped playing it. And then Chronicles came out, and Chronicles was a nut must. For me, at least. I didn't play Chronicles that much. Played Origins a couple times, that was a good time. Played these maps obviously once each, but didn't really make a big deal out of it, right? Kind of thick as a joke. Problem I have with Nock is the zombies take so goddamn long to get into the goddamn building. And there's an interesting thing about this series is I think it's going to be cool to see as time, gonna, as time goes on, it's going to be interesting to see like the different information we get about Black Ops 4 will change my opinions and my moods and my what I'm talking about in each video. Because right now, we're at the point where we know nothing about it. We don't even know the title of it. Like I'm just calling it Black Ops 4. We don't even know what the setting's going to be in. I'm pretty sure it's going to be uh, modern. I don't know much about it, anything about it at this point, actually. Other than it's coming November and it's going to be Treyarch and it's going to be awesome. And obviously as time goes on, like literally in uh, like two months, about two months, we'll be able to get the campaign trailer. And two months is obviously eight weeks from now. So that'll be like eight maps in. We'll be like Black Ops 1 map, probably like Shangri-La or something like that. And I'll be playing Shangri-La and my opinion will be completely different about zombies. I'll be talking about maybe the campaign, maybe talking about the campaign trailer or something like that. Like, I'm, in these videos, I'm not just going to talk about the maps itself. Which obviously going to be the main focal, focal point. I think it'll be interesting to also talk about, you know, Black Ops 4 itself. Because that is what it is. It's a road to Black Ops 4. You know, I was thinking about doing a multiplayer road, road to Black Ops 4 type thing. Where I'd play, like, all multiplayers from every Call of Duty. But I realized zombies... For Treyarch, is just more exciting in my opinion, even though I say multiplayer is more important, which it is. But at the same time, although multiplayer is more important, for me personally, I think Zombies is more exciting. So, I'm more looking forward to it, is what I'm trying to say. One thing I can notice by Nocturne Toten is why I'm not getting the high rounds because it takes so fucking long, man. It's so long. There's just zombies on the outskirts of the maps. You just have no idea where they are. And you're just looking for them. But yeah, Nocturne one of those maps you really don't want to go for high rounds for because honestly, I could probably sit it all day go to round 50 if I wanted to. I really don't want to, so <laughs> let's be honestly real here. So I'm probably going to end the video here just uh, on a goodbye note, you know, saying, you know, peace out, yo, basically. And um gonna end the video here. And uh Don't know what to say about it, because not for to not much into it, obviously. I think we can tell from this video there's not much to talk about in Nocturne Toten. That's why I went off topic a lot, talked about other things, because Nocturne Toten's just not that exciting of a map. It's nostalgic, brings a lot of memories back, there's not much to do, therefore it's kind of a, a so and so type of map. I'm just gonna kill myself real quick. Just uh seize the day.
and I will see you guys on my next video. Peace out.